this is my last drive in the SL500 while it's an automatic. I'm going to be starting the manual swap today. So I'm going to enjoy this last ride because I'm probably not going to get to drive it for a good while. I'm hoping I can get the swap done in, in a month, but we'll see. So I'm going to enjoy the car and then put it in the shop. really nice thing about this Mercedes is it has the uh, ECU in the engine bay and it just unclips like this and right here and then you could take it out right there through here and you don't have to take any wiring off the whole harness comes out with the engine the wiring out of here there's a little mouse nest unhooked it here took off this uh, piece right there and there it is engine wiring harness is out took off all the fuel lines return or send and return this little airline took off the power steering lines now I just gotta take off the air comp AC compressor lines so I'm under the car, trying to see how to disconnect the uh, O2 sensors up top there. And I thought I was going to have to unbolt them from the exhaust, but they're just on these little uh, these little clips, right, or these little connectors right here. You just unplug them, and then the O2 sensor is unplugged, and you can take the exhaust off. Thank you, Mercedes. There's also two more right here. If you follow the line up goes to right there just unplug that and boom you don't have to take the uh, whole thing out of the exhaust which is super annoying thank you mercedes for making it easy i appreciate it so i got the uh, exhaust off from the motor from the uh, manifolds <laughs> uh, took it off there i took it off the hangers over there now i have to remove this brace so that the exhaust will come down and the exhaust should come out so there we go i got the exhaust off it's hanging on on the left side over there it's kind of stuck so i'm gonna try to wiggle it out so this is the current state of the exhaust it's stuck over there on the O2 sensor up here. Kind of see it right there. It's stuck against the wall. Take it. 
Driver's side is still on. No. Because you gotta go up. There we go. Nice. Thanks, Austin. So I got the drive shaft unbolted on the transmission. Had to take off the transmission mount to get to those bolts. And then I got it unbolted on the differential. Now I just gotta take off this shield, this hanger bearing, and this little shield right here. And then I could pull the drive shaft out. And then after the drive shaft, I'm gonna start unbolting the transmission and then pull the transmission out, and then after you get the transmission out, then I could pull the engine out. Yeah. Oh, why is your design so stupid? <laughs> why do you have a two-piece drive shaft? I don't know, probably like... I think the fucking rubber stuck on this side. Okay, maybe putting the e-brake on was a stupid idea. Take it off? Yeah. That was a stupid idea, my fault. Alright, now I'll put it back on. I'll, I joke, I don't do it. <laughs> I joke, I joke. It's a joke. Right, hold the wheel. Dang, it's like. Oh. So I had my actual pry bar. Okay, I'll go grab it. Have a pipe. Oh, you got my shitty one. Yes, there it there goes. It's go. worn off. Oh, this one's fucking stuck. Don't drop it on yourself. It's okay. It won't hurt. Too bad. I'm gonna pinch my fucking elbow at this joint though. You know, this is like taking off my uh Hey There you go. Drive shifts out. Roll it this way. Small little thing. So I got the transmission out. Disconnected, laying on the ground. It was annoying because it was stuck up top here on the guide pin holes. They were corroded. So I took a screwdriver, jammed it in, 
hammered it in and slowly it started separating on the top and then I pulled it out and I also had to take off a little cover right there it was in the way but other than that transmission came out now I gotta unbolt the engine off of the engine mounts and then take the engine out So here's the engine out of the car in all its glory. It's gonna be a good time to clean up this whole engine bay and make it look real nice and brand new. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. Around like a day of work, got it out. Now I'm gonna go around and see everything that's leaking and order new gaskets and seals, replace it all, clean this engine up and then start bolting the, uh, the adapter plate and the transmission to this, to this engine. So I still have to replace the rear main seal, but this is how it's gonna look like. This is the adapter plate to the transmission, and this is the clutch, flywheel, pressure plate. Pretty high quality stuff. All the bolts line up perfectly. Starter on wall. So yeah, I'm excited. I gotta replace the rear main first before I could bolt any of this on, but I just wanted to see how it would look. Looks way cooler than having this thing on there. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I need to replace the valve cover gaskets, rear main, oil pan gasket. And then I also noticed the front main is leaking. And I think all of this is, there's either cam gaskets in here um, or the, it's all from the valve cover. So I'm gonna clean all that up, replace all those and then in, once I replace the rear main, I'll put the transmission on. So that's going to be my big thing is to get the rear main. But yeah, I think I'm going to end the video here. Got everything out. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for this next episode. It's moving pretty fast. I'm excited. See ya.